Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I want to show you the if-then-else uh, uh, statement. Okay, so I'm going to use a very simple uh, example, uh, and I'm going to assign um, letter grades to numerical grades, to numerical uh, numbers. Okay, so I'm going to define a cutoff uh, such that above 70, a score above 70 is going to be passing, and a score less than 70 is going to be that other thing we don't want to talk about. Okay, and again, I begin with, uh, before I write code, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to test it. Okay, so to test my, my um, if then else, I'm going to need a score. Okay, and I'll use a global variable here, and I'll um, ma I manually initialize it to 95. That's going to be a passing. And then the output of my uh, if then else statement is going to be a letter grade. Okay. In this case, it's going to assign it a P, but I'm going to write code to do that. Okay. All right. And so uh, the basic idea of an if statement is we have an if statement, and right in here, Okay, we're going to produce an expression which evaluates to a Boolean. Zero is false, and everything else other than zero is going to be true. And the most common thing inside an if statement is relation. Okay, so a relational uh, comparison here is going to use the greater than, the less than, less than or equal to, or in this case, greater than or equal to. So the relational operation here takes two numbers, okay, uh, a score and a cutoff, which is a constant 70, and compares them. If the Boolean is a true, okay, it's going to execute this, okay, and I can assign my grade uh, equal to a pass, okay. So this is what we're going to get executed if it's true, okay, between this brace and that brace uh, is all uh, is the true body of the if then else statement. Now I could stop right there, uh, but what if I'm less than seventy? I can add an else term here, and this is going to be the false um, the false uh, body statement. And in here I got to assign some other grade other than pass, and this is again going to be the false. All right. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's build it and see what happens. All right. Okay. I'm in a debugger now, and I'm going to add expressions here. Now I can do um, a right click, or I can just type in score. Uh, and there's my score. I can type in grade right here. Okay. Enter. And you can see that the grade has not yet been assigned. Now over here, I'm going to do a step over. Okay. And so, uh, when I execute this line here, uh, it's going to return a true, and therefore, I'm going to jump to line 12 and assign uh, the passing grade to the student. Okay. Let's run it again. Okay. So, I'm going to change the score to 65. So, again, I built it, I downloaded it, and I'm going to step over it again. Okay, step over. This time, it's going to evaluate false because 65 is not greater than or equal to 70. So it's going to jump to line 14 and assign the letter F. All right, uh, that's the if-then statement, a very powerful uh, uh, programming construct.